Hello YouTube silver stackers, coin enthusiasts, and people who just like shiny stuff. So, opening the proverbial can of worms, uh, Stackerville, excellent concept. Uh, people are having excellent trades go on. However, there are a few things that maybe a, a, a new trader might, might want to know. Here's some questions to ponder. Who sends first? Or do you send at the same time? Or does one person commit to send and as soon as he, the other person gets a tracking number, they send theirs? I mean, I've had four trades now. Three of them were pretty much at the same time or as soon as someone got a tracking number, they sent the other one. And the fourth one was send it receive then ship it back to me and I'm not complaining I mean you know nobody really knows anybody else you know it's internet persona you know no, no one wants to get ripped off nobody and I'm not saying that I even worried about that because I just I don't because I'll just make a, a bad video <laughs> not that I want to that's like I said my only recourse is not really too much you can do about it but how do you guys you know do you do that in your trade to determine uh, who sends first? I mean, I'm just curious. I mean, I'm sure other people are curious on who would send first. I mean, there's multiple, multiple ways to do it. Um, you know, there's like a rating system where the one with the most Stackerville trades sends second. Uh, I prefer shipping simultaneously. Or as soon as you get a tracking number from the person you're doing it with, send yours out. I actually, uh, when someone contacts me, I actually go back and, and I look at their YouTube channel to see if they've done any trading, if they're showing coins that they're offering to trade and so I know that they have in their possession, you know, how many trades they've done successfully with Stackerville, and I follow up on, you know, the people they traded with, if they were happy with the trade. How they traded, who who shipped first, all that kind of stuff. So you know, it it, it does pay to, to uh, do your homework uh, and and see. You know, it's always kind of scary because you know you're dealing with someone you really don't know unless you live close by, and then you just do it in person, right? How do you prefer it to happen? Um, I'll bring up a few things like Barter Town, where someone who's done the most trades has earned the right to send or ship second or someone on YouTube Stackerville has done 20 trades successfully and everybody's happy and you have a new guy wanting to trade he's got to kind of prove himself to the guy who's traded 20 or so times and made everybody happy I mean that's how it works on barter town although I do know YouTube is not barter town it's just an example of the prestige of, of being a successful trader versus someone who's who has not or has barely traded anything. You do transactions on eBay and you know you have a you know like me I have a really high rating and I have a lot of repeat business. So you know the weird way eBay works is even though I have over fourteen hundred positive feedbacks with people I've never met they only count at 904 uh, instead of the total 1400 because um, when people do multiple purchases they only count it as one and that kind of blows but that's the way it is now that I've gone and maybe depressed people or opened that proverbial can of worms and you know cause chaos and mayhem which I tr I'm trying not to do I'm just you know trying to relay some thoughts and feelings here but so yeah those are questions to ponder when you're doing trades on stackerville uh, i've had a lot of offers for trading opm rounds for the stuff i have the problem i'm running into right now and again this is directed to nobody in general is that uh, my low premium coins that I that I traded ounce for ounce 
pretty much gone. And that's why I'm going after OPM rounds, is because they are pretty much the lowest generic round on the market. And the only time OPM rounds are really, you know, $30 is when you look at them on eBay. You know, I, I, I would offer up five pandas or five kookaburras. I would trade the value of five pandas for however many OPM rounds that is at the current time of the trade. Same thing with the kookaburras. But I couldn't trade them for, to somebody uh, ounce for ounce. And uh, I believe that if you were on the receiving end, you, you wouldn't trade for it that, that way either. I'm not trying to be greedy. I'm just doing or trying to do fair market value. And I go and I look at all of the big uh, coin dealers at Mex, Provident, Gainesville, Westminster, Mint, Goldmark, uh, you, you name them. I've got about 30 on my favorites, and I, and I check them all. And I try to find the least expensive silver out there. I'm sure everybody does that. I'm working on a few other trades. I don't know if I'll get them or not because, like I said, I'm not asking ounce for ounce on those. As always, keep on stacking and have a nice day.